Hi guys, here I am with another short review about the SignLogic Wi-Fi weather station WS0310. Yeah, I've already made a full review uh, and it was almost half an hour, so I thought it's maybe too long if you want to have just some very quick information. I am using this weather station since now about a week and this is my experience. And uh, yeah, the thing which you place outside is pretty good it's pretty modern it's sturdy it's pretty reliable of course if you place it directly in the sun uh, on top of something hot like on on your roof or close to other things you have to be careful that it doesn't show too high temperatures but it, it looks like apart from that it shows very decent values so I'm actually very, very happy with it. When I compare the values with uh, similar weather st stations in the area, they are really close, but I didn't get uh, like a, a batch from Weather Underground so far, but I think it will take longer time. So uh, let's go a little bit to the details. Yeah, the thing outside is on the average size. Uh, it comes with everything with the mounts and it's very a flexible mount. You get a couple of things here, also the screws, everything. So you shouldn't be too worried about the outside mount it's really good it's it's sturdy for me it makes a really good impression but you still need a couple of uh, small batteries here and also with this device by the way here I'm running this with the battery so you can run it from battery and also wired you can see that here there's a sign that I'm running it from the battery you can even run it like with the high light illumination from the battery of course the battery won't last very long if you do this so it's not recommended it. but everything looks really good when you set it up it's really super easy especially when you are setting this up locally you just insert the batteries here you insert the batteries here and they are automatically connected so no difficult connection procedure is needed like with other weather stations I had this with Accurite weather station already where it was super difficult to connect not with this one here it's somehow pre-connected that's really good the other thing is the connection to the internet so it has has two things two uh, wireless things built in so one is the connection which is I think 433 megahertz uh, to the outside unit which is standard uh, frequency and it has the 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi receiver you can connect the thing to your Wi-Fi router and then transmit all the data to weather on the ground and weather cloud and that works also very good in my case I've tested this I have just checked all the information on weather on the ground and there was not a single outage so it has been since I've been online about a week ago there hasn't been a single outage uh, during this time so it looks like it's really really super reliable I like that and it was not difficult to set up by the way when you set it up and I'm going to show you that now uh, because some people uh, had a hard time to find out how we can set this station up online it's actually not difficult but I'm still going to show you that pretty quickly uh, yeah again it has the connection to the outside unit has a connection the receiver to the 2.4 gigahertz of a normal Wi-Fi router and has also an access point so it can transmit uh, Wi-Fi 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi uh, for a short time so you can access this with your phone or tablet or PC so I'm going to show you that so uh, it, it is really versatile you don't need another device so that's the good thing so indoor you just need this thing so with Accurite usually you need a base station on top of that which needs to be powered all the time it's difficult so here with this thing small device here you have uh, basically everything has a nice view you can usually see it from all the angles you can see that here has really good uh, readability uh, but and, and and it's huge I mean it has huge numbers and uh, it shows a lot what it doesn't have uh, before we go to the Wi-Fi setup here I'm going to show you also a, a couple of disadvantages here I mean the numbers are really nice they are huge there's no touch screen here and there's no graph so you don't have any like trends the only trend uh, which we have is here so that's some kind of weather forecast but there's no like temperature which you can see it's going down or up or, or something like that there's nothing and there's not even a low and high value that's 
a little bit my complaint here, especially with the temperature. It would have been nice. So this is what you get usually on Accurite weather stations, uh, daily maximum and minimum. Uh, you can see this already uh, without pressing any button. Here you have to press a button. That's the minimum maximum here. And you can see we have the maximum here and we have also the minimum here, which was 15.7 degrees Celsius. We can go back. So it's not difficult and you can feel these buttons here but also the regarding buttons you can see they are on the side they are pretty small but you can feel them so you don't have always to turn the weather station around you can feel them pretty easy I got already used to them so I know everything there are just uh, three buttons which have the duplicate function so uh, two functions for each button uh, up and down so it's not very difficult it would have been easier if the buttons would be in the front and also with some description but uh, it, it, it's not it's definitely not a deal break these things on on the side it's it, it's it's uh, very easy to use uh, one other thing the other complaint which i have is more like the brightness of the screen you can see it's super bright i mean that means the visibility is super good uh, you have three options uh, for the brightness but they are pretty much the same so you can just push here and you can see it goes a little bit down now it's on the brightest level that's medium and that's the lowest setting and the lowest setting uh, for the night if you want to have this on a like bedside table or so it's still too bright you probably would have uh, a lot of problems to sleep when it's uh, on so I have to turn it off I mean we can turn it off during the night but then you don't have any kind of information uh, yeah that's not so good I mean there's a little bit you can see it somehow if you have some illumination you could still see the numbers uh, but it, it, it's really hard to see and when you want to have it during the night I mean you could technically push for short time so when it's off you just press for short time and then it will illuminate for five seconds but there are two problems first thing the button is so hard to push that it needs two hands so you cannot just uh, take one hand and push here it won't work <laughs> it will push away the weather station you need two hands to push this button here and it's loud the button is loud i mean it's not extremely loud but you can hear that so if you have your spouse uh, sleeping and you hear a thunderstorm or so approaching you want to see some values or so you want to push you need both hands and then it's loud clicking and it's very bright so yeah definitely for the night like for on the bedside table definitely not really recommended unless you find a way to dim that I'm looking for some tinting foil like from from a car uh, window a tinting shop to put on it and then have it dimmed but I had the same problem with the Accurite weather station they usually have the problem even worse because they are using like illuminate, illuminated background and dark number so that that the problem is even worse here it's a little bit better but so let's go to the Wi-Fi setup what we have to do you can uh, use any kind of tablet or a phone or PC of course I recommend to go your to your PC what we have to turn on here is the Wi-Fi so we press for three seconds here and that should turn on the Wi-Fi unfortunately it's not shown here during the when we have the battery but I hope it still works so we can here go to the setting and to the network and Wi-Fi and we have to look for some weather station here yeah, I just found out that it's not working on battery. You really have to connect the weather station uh, to power. So I had to remove and can't show you the weather station, but it's just like uh, it's blinking. The Wi-Fi icon is blinking and it emits something like a Wi-Fi signal here. You can see that weather home and there's a number, unique number. You click on that. There is no password. So absolutely no password to choose. You just go to the browser then so open a browser like chrome 
It says has no internet access. That's pretty okay. Absolutely no problem. We have to enter here the IP uh, address of the weather station. And that's 192.168.5.1. And we hit enter here and then we uh, then we see the page here so it's easier because you have to fill out some things it's easier when you do it on your pc but it's exactly the same thing just connect to this uh, site here and you will have then uh, you can find the wi-fi network here you have to click on the right side and then it will search for the wi-fi which you have in your home you click on that i have already done this i don't have to do that here then you enter the password that's that's the password which you got uh, for your router from your internet service provider usually and then here we have the IDs for the Weather Underground and the Weather Cloud. So that's always the ID and the key. So here they say password. It's not a password. It's not your user ID and password or something like that. It's just the ID of your weather station and the key of your weather station on Weather Underground and Weather Cloud. Then you can set your time zone and then you click on save here and then it will stop blinking on the weather station and it will start to transmit all the data and you should be good to go and then you can go back of course make sure that you go back to your normal wi-fi otherwise you won't have any uh, data on your phone yeah, so that's it for now. I hope I've been able to help you a little bit with this review and also uh, with the information regarding Wi-Fi access and uh, Wi-Fi distribution of the signals to Weather Underground and the Weather Cloud. And I really have to say that I'm, I'm super happy with this uh, weather station. For me, it really works. It has some small things which could have been done better, but uh, that's definitely not a deal breaker. So I'm really happy. I can fully recommend it. And I'll put down the link to the Amazon listing down into the description so you can check it out or it right from there if you like it. And I hope I've been able to help you a little bit with this video. If you have any questions or comments, just write to the comment section below and i'm always happy to talk about your things and if you like the video give me a thumbs up subscribe my channel thanks for watching and see you next time